that got me, but I still have to start the stream. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Good day to you all. And it's lovely to see you. And one of these days we'll be able to breathe again, and that's fine. But welcome in, everybody. I'm Lady QEW. I'm very happy to see you. Uh, we're playing Majora's Mask, but we'll get to that eventually. Because first things first, bat at buttons! You did it. Despite my poor channel point redemption management, you still managed to be first. Oh, I'm still giggling. So, pat yourself on the back. You are the first viewer to redeem first this stream, and you get to be first. Good for you! And now there's lots of other things happening. What up, Ellis? Thank you for redeeming third. Those stims, do you really think you need ten? Listen, I've been typing all day. My fingers, they're tired. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to chat. Um, Folks, I understand that there's a game uh, going on over here, but we're very busy. There are lots of redemptions, and so we're going to have to deal with those redemptions, and then we're going to get back to things. But welcome in, everybody. It's lovely to see you. Um, hello, Boo. Hello, Willis. Hello, Buttons. Hello, Erica. I'm very glad that you got word of the stream. Um, this is exciting. Um, hello, SNK, and was that everybody that I've seen so far? That might be everybody so far. That's okay. Cozy chatting time. We're all snug. If if you're not snug, you better get your get your snugifiers available right now, because we we have some redemptions to get through. Hello, Kate. Hello, hello. Did you get a happy meal, Kate? Did you get a happy meal? Okay, you're getting it. Okay, okay. All all of my good luck. I'm I'm giving it to you. We're going to fail miserably at every single mini game that's going on because it's extremely important to me that that you get this happy meal toy. I'm just doing that cuz I'm thirsty. So, Erica, I'm so glad to see you today. Thank you for redeeming word of the stream. Now, this is very interesting because you, that is Greek. And I know that that's Greek because I took classes in Greek. Does that mean I can speak Greek? No. But I did read um, half of Homer's The Odyssey in Greek while translating it for myself. Now, unfortunately, that's not extremely helpful because Homer's The Odyssey is um, one of the earliest extant works that may or, that is in ancient Greek and may or may not have been written by multiple authors and so does not have consistent uh, grammar, consistent delivery, consistent narrative style, um, which makes it hard. And I don't even think it's pronounced the same, but we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. I believe in you, Kate, I, and I am praying for you. Hello, Sudoruto, lovely to see you. Um, and also, it's been like fifteen years since I took that Greek class, and so good luck to me on this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down, and then I'm gonna try saying it, and then we're gonna see how bad badly I do. Now, the thing is, that looks like it's a zeta at the front to me, but that's not how I write my capital zetas. But I'll give it... I'll give it to this. Modern Greek is pronounced very differently from ancient Greek. This is the thing that I learned. One of my uh, classmates was a modern Greek. I also don't know what that accent above the first alpha means and that's not going to do me any favors but I am not going to get fooled 
by the particularly fooly thing, I think, at the end of this word. Because there's many words, or there's many letters in Greek that look like they're letters that you should recognize, and they are not letters that you should recognize. Thank you. I will grab that voice clip. So this, this is the word of the stream. I don't know what it means yet, but we'll learn that soon. I... <laughs> I would have loved going to school with an ancient Greek, though, buttons. It would have been so cool. It would have been like a Doctor Who episode. Hey, how did you get here? What sort of time travel did you use? Like, this is, it would have been great. But, like, also, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty glad that I didn't ruin the continuity of time in the course of my schooling. Um, so that's just an interesting thing about me, is that I took some ancient Greek and I read some Homer as a result of it. Um... I also read a lot of ancient Roman literature, like w the meme that's going around of how often do you think about the Roman Empire and like the the form of the meme that, meme that says ladies ask your male partner. I'm just like, excuse you, I think about the Roman Empire like four times a day. It's very applicable to a lot of things about our current social context, and I learned a lot about it. And so, like, I think about it a lot. It, it's, it's not that weird. And that kind of ruins everything for people. Like, even thinking about ancient Greece, I wind up thinking about the Roman Empire because the Roman Empire, like, conquered most of ancient Greece and was like, hey, you just belong to us. And Greece went, we don't really want to fight you. That's how I summarize their relationship. Kindly note, I am not a professor nor an expert on this subject, and I'm sorry for being extremely wrong and under-nuanced in my take. So anyway, uh, these are Greek letters. I recognize them. We have a zeta, an alpha. I think that's a chi, another alpha. I think that's a rho and an eta. Regardless, I think... I'm going to be clumsy because I can sound this out individually in my brain, but I've never tried saying this word and I have no practice with it, but that's going to be like a z sound. I'm not sure what the emphasis is on whether this is a long one or not, um, like what type of vowel, but I can assume a longer one. So like z, k, this is supposed to be like a, a like h sort of noise in the back of the throat, and then it's going to end with are because that's that's what that does so like zakare or something akin to that is probably in the rough ballpark of what we're trying to do with this word but i don't know what it is or what it means and so thankfully erica is a lovely human being um and has absolutely sent me a pronunciation guide because help it's greek it's all greek to me <laughs> that joke was almost as good as Buttons' joke from earlier. <clears throat> I'm fine. How are y'all doing? It's a Wednesday. Oh. Oh, wow. This is really fascinating etymology. It, like is tracing it back to things a little tired but otherwise fine well i'm glad that you're otherwise fine i i assume that you'll be able to fix the tired at some point by going to sleep but i'm glad that you're getting yourself food first my ancient is showing i know right this is the point this is the exciting thing about having learned ancient greek i know i'm gonna be wrong but my ancient like but i'm not I'm not entirely wrong about how the rules of pronunciation work. They're just super not current. It's fine. They're a few thousand years off. We'll be okay. <laughs> what a Zachare. That actually was pretty close. Oh. Oh, it's just sugar. Well, that kind of makes sense. I can see the I can see the derivation. That was cool. Okay, I'm very excited about this one. This one was delightful because I understood what language it was when I looked at it. And honestly, this is the sort of thing that you look at. These these are letters that I love because these are letters that tell you immediately whether the person like attempting to pronounce the word has any experience with Greek. It's fine to not have experience with Greek, but like tell me you don't look at this and go that's not a letter and then it's axapn. <laughs> you know like it's so 
not similar in terms of form. We're so used to the alphabet as we understand it that introducing other things from not that alphabet, really interesting. And I love it. Anyway, all of that to say, uh, sugar is our word of the stream, except sugar in Greek. So I hope that y'all enjoy uh, reviewing that. Huh. <sighs> What up, Bulls? Thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. I still haven't added the mug command, but I have it saved still, so I can still work out what I want to do with that. But if anyone is interested, uh, the tea of today, I could, I could make a redeem for tea. Hold on. I need to take notes, folks. I could have a channel point redemption for like one meaningless calorie that was just, what are you drinking? What is your tea? What's your tea? Spill the tea. That would be funny. That would be, I would enjoy that. Um, I have peppermint tea tonight, by the way. Peppermint is just a general soothing flavor, and there are several different types of peppermint tea, all of which are very delicious, but this is the basic one, at least in my home, um, that is made by a Quebecois tea company, so it is native to Canada. Um, the brand is Four O'Clock, if anyone is interested in that. They make a lot of really, really good teas, and my husband and I love so much of their stuff. But their peppermint tea is actually really good because it's not, like, I don't feel it in my nose, which is pretty important to me. Like, I drink it. I don't sinus it. Um, and, and I prefer that in a soothing tea. Sinusing tea is important. Basic peppermint comes from the leaves. You know, it's fine. Oh, chat, I, I did need to tell y'all something. It is so important. Hammock and Lady Q what a great Wednesday evening. Thank you, Buttons. I'm sorry for spoiling your next week, but I do have an announcement and I want to make sure I say it a few times during stream because people are going to be popping in and out as they do. Um, but for the folks who are usually here at the beginning, next week I am actually going to be canceling stream. So I will post that in the Discord and I will cancel it on my schedule on Twitch so that uh, you shouldn't get notifications about that or anything. Uh, but I do have a prior commitment. I know, how could I? Um, I do have a prior commitment and I don't currently have the flex over the next week. Like there's a lot of things that I'm trying to fit in. And so I don't have an easy flex onto a different night of the week. And so I think I'm just going to need to take the week off. However, um, I have tickets to a hockey game for PWHL between Toronto and K Menzel help me out here the other team that's really good and like I can't not go and it's on Wednesday so I just need to go I, I probably won't be decorating a pole unless they provide I, I could just throw things it probably is I think it is Minnesota and I just don't remember words sometimes and so but I'm pretty sure I'm watching PWHL Toronto versus Minnesota and like it's going to be a very good game and I would like to go. So got the tickets. You're going to the NY game on Tuesday? I know! See, this is what I said, Buttons. Like, I love you all. Please do not get me wrong. This is a delightful time of my life. It is a highlight of my week most weeks. I love hanging out here with you guys. But it's a PWHL game. And it's in between your team and my team. And how am I supposed to miss that, Buttons? How am I supposed to miss that? So I'm sorry about that, um, but I will be going to that game. Ahem. <clears throat> Because it matters to me. I am a Canadian. Hockey is important to me. I liked your, your use of air quotes, though. Oh, um... Isn't it just professional women? No, it's not. It's... Uh, I used to know this. Come on. Yeah, it is. It's just professional. Professional Women's Hockey League. He'll just watch the game instead, wear something that lights up. <laughs> that is a very easy thing for me to do, Buttons. I'll do my best to be noticeable. Yeah. They just wanted to make sure that you knew they were professionals. <laughs> Which is pretty valid, honestly. So good for them. Um, okay, so that's my hydrate. And Willis, thank you also for redeeming dehydrate. <laughs> 
Erica, I've been excited about hockey since my brother played it. I'm just very picky about my sports engagement, but that is extremely funny to me. I love how you can just sit there being like, excuse you. Professional does just mean you get paid. And the thing is, I think the issue is there's so many women's hockey leagues that are amateur because people think that like women are going to do it without getting paid. Like the value assessment between women's sports and men's sports tends to be complex, nuanced, and sexist. Um, and so all those things considered, I think they put the P in just to be like, hey, these are not amateurs. These are professional hockey players. Please stop it. We should. We should just be able to, but we don't. Bring a sign that says hi, chat. <laughs> I love that. When would there be an extreme women's hockey league? <laughs> so as the sports lesbian in chat you can explain the whole history I would love that please do please do I love it when people talk about their expert subjects okay I also have a non-seasonal candy and a book review and a seasonal candy so chat we're just gonna be here a while and I hope you're okay with that <laughs> I'm okay with that you know what Willis I always say people as individuals, I love and adore. Individual peoples tend to be great. I will always start with hope and I will always engage with like the benefit of the doubt in, until proved otherwise. But people as a group noun, often very stupid. We don't do well at scale. <laughs> You regret not joining roller derby teams? That's fair. <laughs> I like that that's a 0% right now. <laughs> that's great. Okay. Um, I'm going to get myself my non-seasonal candy with Lifesaver. Then I'm going to do a book review. And then I'm going to get a seasonal candy because Pseudo Rudo redeemed for that. And it's great. And then maybe eventually we'll get around to playing, to playing things. A Lifesaver has nothing to do with seasons. It's just a useful thing to have around. So that's why it's the non-seasonal candy this month. League was founded due to a player lockout of the old league, the PHF. Interesting. Your local home ice was a mall? That's just disrespectful. A person of smart people are dumb panicky animals. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, we just watched that movie like a few weeks ago. I'd forgotten that. I can hear it in Tommy Lee Jones' voice. That's fantastic. Anyway. <clears throat> what up, Willis? Thank you very much for redeeming Lady Q's book reviews. This is a new redemption um, for anyone who wasn't here last week, I think, is when I launched it. Um, they do hold up well. And the purpose of them is the fact that I know I get really passionate about a lot of things that I care about, and many of those things are books. I worked in a library for a very long time. I'm extremely well read, not from the perspective of the things that you think I should read, but from the perspective of things that like I did read. I read a lot. Um, and I love getting passionate about books like that. And so Lady Q's book reviews, I started specifically because I was reading a book that I was like, listen, I can't keep this inside. I have to force this on people. I have to inflict this on others. And so here is a book review option. And if people would like a book review inflicted on them, I am happy to do it. Um, there may be spoilers in all of my book reviews uh, because I am, in, in fact, shockingly improvising them. I don't have scripts for them. So it's a little hard for me to uh, track necessarily what I'm going to say. I do want to try to not ruin books that I think are going to be good or interesting to read. But if you hear the title of a book or the details of a book and you might be interested in it, I also will not be offended if you mute in order to avoid spoilers. So... We are going to have a special book review this week because, again, I need to tell y'all about this. However, I am very particular when I am going to say something negative at wanting to make sure that that's a me thing and that other people have a chance to enjoy things. So, I am not going to give the title of this book and I am not going to give the author of this book. Because I am going to tell y'all 
about how every once in a while when you're going to write a fantasy book, you need either an editor or a beta reader for lore purposes exclusively. Or books like this can happen. And now I don't want to think poorly of this author. Being an author is incredibly hard work, and I really respect that they have published books. And that's why I'm not going to tell you what this book is. But I am going to share with y'all that I read a book. It was about vampires. Because every once in a while we got it, right? It's a very classic thing to have fantasy that includes vampires. It actually specifically was very interesting to me. It included vampires, but it did not include any other typical supernatural creatures. Vampires in a town. What? Um, and they were, in fact, somewhat classic um, vampires from the perspective of they sleep during the day. And I mean that that's forced sleep, which is very tropey. Not that they can sleep during the day, which is sort of the Buffy lore, um, that they, they can't be in the sun. And so if they're going to sleep, they might as well sleep during the day. Um, but they don't have to. This is one of the forced sleep lores where, like, at sunrise, they do fall asleep no matter where they are. Um, it is also one of the books wherein the vampires do subsist on a diet of blood. So that exists as well. Um... I don't say blah, blah, blah. Hotel Transylvania is funny. I wish I was talking about that. If that. Is that a book? I know it's a movie. Sorry, I should specify. I know it's a movie. But in my brain, I'm like, did someone turn that into like a kid's book afterwards? Is that something I'd find in the 9 to 12 fiction section of the library? Anyway, the point of this is it's, it should be very classic. Like this is a book wherein the plot is the government knows about vampires. They know that they're real. But they haven't, like, really caught on to that yet. And so they're still trying to, like, not make that public, but they're trying to capture and maybe study vampires. So that's very much, like, if you've watched Buffy, it's in the children's nonfiction section. Yes. So if you've watched Buffy, it's very similar to, like, the initiative plot line when, like, Riley is around and that sort of thing, where, like, there are branches of the military that are trying to, like, capture etc 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 and like study these guys um and and in this book they're not being studied nicely they're being studied in a very mean way and so the vampires are not particularly fans of this government organization and this government organization is not particularly fans of this vampires and anyway humans are involved somehow and it doesn't matter and i don't know maybe there's some characters that are like gonna fall in love with each other by the end of the book who cares that's not the point the point is um there's a particular vampire who is the main character of this book um, and she seems pretty cool, honestly. I'd be friends with her. Uh, and she's also very smart and, like, understands that if she is forced into sleep at daylight, it would be to her advantage to be able to live somewhere where there's, uh, um, where there's not a lot of daylight and where instead there's a lot of nighttime. And so... She buys a home that is very far north. It's so far north that it has 18 hours of night. And anybody with a soft understanding of science and earth is already having a Willis. It's so far north that it has 18 hours of night. Year round. So for anyone with a soft understanding of science, that's impossible because the earth is not straight up and down, it's tilted. And so you are always going to have a switch that happens midway through the year. And so if you have an area of the world that has 18 hours of night during the winter, for example, it will similarly have 18 hours of sunlight during the summer, like approximately. I'm very much rounding because I'm not a scientist about this, but there is no one area of earth that actually does that for the whole year. So already we have a strike on this lore because that's just not how science works but I'm like okay so I'm not willing to suspend disbelief enough on this book to like boop the earth into a straight line but I'm okay with this because I'm thinking what you're thinking Willis I'm like so far north so far north that it has that many hours of nighttime okay so that has to be 
north of the Arctic Circle, right? That's got to be north of the Arctic Circle, which means we're talking like maybe Alaska. You could do Alaska if you really needed to keep it in the United States. But like the Yukon, like there's so many options. There's so much area like north of there. And then I think the wrong editor might have got a hold of this book. Because I learn about this house. The character goes there. And a few chapters later, we're having a conversation about this character, about their house, about their wonderful, like, whatever, with some of this character's friends who, like, know about them. And we are told, canonically, canonically, that this home is in Maine. And like, <laughs> so it was Stephen King. Okay, that's funny. It was not Stephen King, but kind of so poor Nori. This was my point, Buttons. This was my point. I'm like, Maine is not even as far north as me. I am further north. Like. It just, it didn't have to be like that. You didn't have to tell me where it was. You, you didn't have to. And if you did have to, why did you pick Maine? Why? Why? And so, like, honestly, it was fine. The book was fine. But as you can tell, the reason it landed on Lady Q's book reviews was not really the book itself but was the corner of my mind that goes, there are some things that you can get away with in books, especially in fantasy books. I'm willing to do a lot of mental work to jump through hoops so that your story feels real to me. I love immersion. It's what I want to do. And so I will cover over a multitude of your minor little glitches. You know what I mean? I am happy to like... Like, Forks, Washington was better than Maine because they didn't say Forks, Washington was north. They said it was cloudy. You didn't have to do it this way. There are some things when I'm reading a book where I'm like, if what I'm trying, like, if immersion is important to a story, which I believe it is, books, movies, other media, etc. Immersion, I think, is very important for keeping someone invested in a story. When I am willing to do so much work to keep myself immersed in your story, there are things that you can still do that are going to force me to fling myself out of it. And one of those things is suggesting that Maine is far enough north that it would have 18 hours of nighttime year round. Like, I forgave them the year round. I was like, I'm going to allow that. I'm not going to let that ruin my immersion. Let's just pretend that that's possible and that I know that that's possible. And it's fine. Like, they're going to take some sled dogs to get far enough north. Who knows? It's it's fine. I will just forgive this. And then Maine, of all things... It doesn't... It doesn't work... So, my suggestion would be, to anyone who's actually trying to write books that have lore, wherein especially the lore is important to the plot of your story, it's really useful, if you don't have an editor who can do this, to get a beta reader who's actually reading for that purpose, who can go, hey, sorry, why is this in Maine? Does it have to be? And if it does have to be in Maine, for some reason... um. You can't say that about it. That's just not true. Mm. Oh, interesting. That's a good point, Buttons. There are a lot of books that make mistakes like that. Or, or like, I would almost call those soft anachronisms. That, like, that's an anachronism. 
that's n- something that a modern reader wants to see in a book that's not set in modern times. And so it's actually designed in some ways to keep us immersed. But like if you're trying to read something for like the interest in its setting, you wind up with the opposite problem where you're suddenly just unimmersed because you're like, excuse me, why is this modern sensibility? What is this modern sensibility doing in my historical setting? That makes no sense. Mm. Copy paste vibes are not good vibes. Okay, so I've missed a lot of chat during this book review, but I appreciate y'all sticking with me just just for the punchline because the reactions that poured in on the punchline, that was what I was waiting for. I needed to know it wasn't just me who like looked at this setup and went, no, absolutely not. Do better next time. <gasps> what was in the Happy Meal, Kate? <clears throat> Was it the right thing? (gasps) I just got your messages. Can I show the picture? Can I show the picture? This is so perfect. Chad, it worked. (laughs) Yes. Amazing. All right. Our encouragement worked. That's great. Okay, cool. So buttons. um, I am taking a picture of your chat from a bajillion minutes ago. It's fine. Um, To remind myself to post a selfie with me and Kay Menzel. Um, And I will try to also include uh, vague directions of where we are on the rink. Like if I can tell you what ad is in front of us, for example, uh, or roughly where we're sitting, just in case, we're probably not going to be visible on camera, but I'll, I'll do my best to make sure. Hi, Kina. Hello. Thank you for that. Lovely to see you. Okay. Very rich white dude with good intentions bought the old league. Now it's being run properly. Okay. Yeah. More a story of workers' rights. That makes sense. And they didn't get maternity. Yes, that was a thing. I knew that. That was very, very silly. I think something important has happened. The season wasn't supposed to happen. The plan was 2025, but they wanted to play. You know what? 2024 is... is, I'm happy that they started this year, but I hope things work out well for them. The author kept changing a character name between Virginia and Victoria. That's basic. That is basic buttons. Uh, I'm glad you loved the review, Willis, since you're the one who redeemed for it. Aha! Pop-up bun. There we go. There it is. Okay, Willis, thank you very much for redeeming pop-up bun. In honor of Kate's win, we are going to do that. Uh, boop goes the whack and up goes the wind. You have a book to send me? <laughs> oh my gosh, please do. <laughs> Throw it at me. <laughs> Good storyteller, terrible writer. Yes. Um, that, that is something that I think happens a lot. We'll, we'll definitely aim next week to review another book that I'm excited about for like all the positive reasons, but I'm sure you guys can understand why, like, I'm not going to share the name of the author or the name of the book for you because like, I don't want you to come predisposed to not enjoy a book or to like laugh at a book necessarily when you actually want to engage with it. Like, it was a reasonably good book, other than the fact that apparently Maine is just the most North place in the world. And I I want to be able to like honor and respect the author for this. So next time we'll try to do a nice one. But this time we're good. Hello, Mexico. Wonderful to see you. outsider art no but i'm about to make myself a note oh interesting i have not heard of that 
yeah, you can recommend a book. Please do. Always do. My my TBR pile is like about 100 books long, but I don't read them in order. And so we'll see. Just throw your book recommendations at me while I snack on some candy. So I do still owe Pseudo Rudo a seasonal candy. Chat. 35 minutes of chatting so far. I haven't even started <laughs> the game yet. Thank you for sending it in DMs, Erica. I appreciate that. Um, so Suda Rudo, this one's your seasonal candy. Legends and Lattes is on my list. Yes, it has sequels already, right? It's got a sequel. It's got a sequel, right? Right. It's actually, so Legends and Lattes is one of the ones that I have on hold with my library right now on my app. Um, and so when the hold comes up, which apparently I'm 35th in line and I'm going to have to wait like 18 weeks or something like that, we'll see. I might give up and just buy it before that because it looks like it would be really good. <laughs> so yeah, that one's yours, Rudo. And now, Mexico. Thanks for redeeming seasonal candy. So I decided this year April was going to be um, the month where the season was April Fool's. And so I just didn't change my seasonal candy and we're still eating easter eggs which is fine you say 40 minutes like we weren't expecting to still not have started chad i'm just encouraging people to show up late because they know they won't miss anything <laughs> mad honey by jody picole oh interesting she's very prolific I am not doing the archery, but that is a very good point. Um, I'm giving up on the swamp shooting gallery as soon as I start because I have so much side questing to do and I'm doing it with walkthrough. But you're right. It was the fact that I had... Was it the light arrows? That mean that I can get the Easter egg? Was it the light arrows or was it a mask? I don't remember anymore. Um... So this one's going to be my non-seasonal candy, but Mexico also redeemed Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. And a Dehydrate. So I'm going to skip through those first. Dungeon Heart. I don't know that one. Erica, I think I might have a book to recommend to you as well, if you haven't read it. Ooh. I will DM it to you. Ooh. Snacking and chatting. <laughs> Mexico, thank you for redeeming. Keep doing what you're doing. Like, at this point... I could honestly probably do some just chatting streams where we just talk about books all the time. But I want to play Zelda chat. But I also like snacks. And I also like talking to wonderful people. And I have so many wonderful humans in my chat. Hmm. Book five. Okay, so this is a commitment because it's a series. And so if I like it, I have to keep going. Yeah, Lady Huey Book Club. Hello, Garlic Grove. I need to put down Mad Honey by Jodi Picoult. I don't know if that's how you say her name. I've never heard her name said out loud by anyone other than me. I just know how I need to say it in my head so that I know where it goes on the shelf when I'm putting it away. Okay. Light arrows. It's quick, but you think I'll appreciate it. Okay. Chat. I might actually be caught up on Channel Point Redemption. So just a reminder, because I know some new people have popped in. Um, next week, I am going to a PWHL game between uh, Toronto and Minnesota, and it is on Wednesday. And so, because I do not have a great pivot to a different day of the week next week, I am canceling stream because I have decided that I am Canadian and as an acknowledgement of my Canadian identity, uh, hockey is important to me. So there will be no stream next week, but I will be back the following week. So May 1st, no stream, but May 8th, I think, stream. 
So just don't panic. I will get my schedule updated. The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. Okay. So just to clarify, I am going to be looking at all of these books. I do not guarantee that I will read them. Um, and I especially do not guarantee that I will read them all the way through. But I will look into them because y'all are fun people. And I like reading books. Garlic Grove. 25 stream streak is pretty dang impressive. Um, Erica, was it you with the 10 stream streak? Because, like, congrats to you as well. I just remember spelling everything wrong when I put that down. And the buttons made me laugh so hard I couldn't stop, which is fine. Um, I guess I'll forgive you, the Mr. Grabby. We always flex streaks in this chat, Willis. Do you, do you have... Do you have one? I mean, I'm sure you do. So many people are here every week and it's wonderful. 25! <gasps> That's such a good flex! Wow! Willis, look at you. Willis and Garlic here. 25 stream streak. I'm not even sure I have a 25 stream streak chat. I'm pretty sure I'm not here most weeks. Um, But anyway... For those of you who showed up and went, huh, I think she's playing a game. Now, now is when you get to be right. So we're playing Majora's Mask. We're almost done Majora's Mask, as you can see from this screen. Because uh, I got all four sets of remains, which means at any point in time... Oh, don't get out of the hammock buttons. It's not worth it. You had 65 on a dis different streamer and then had a very bad day at work and lost it. Oh, no. That's heartbreaking. I think there's someone in Buttons' chat who's about to hit 100, which is super impressive because I have no consistency whatsoever. And I keep forgetting to do things. Like tune into streams. I'm trying. I just have a lot of time blindness, and I don't always know what day it is. I'm excited about seeing a 100, though. So, we have all four sets of remains. Um, but we don't have all the masks. And that's a problem, because we want to definitely do at least fun 100%. And I do have to specify that, because I spent about 10 minutes last week trying to deal with the Swamp Shooting Gallery. And I do despise it from the depth of my soul. And it is, in fact, an affront to my happiness. And so I'm going to come back to it later, like I did last time, because I'm just not good enough at the shooting mechanic to do this. This is like the hardest piece of heart in this game. It is the hardest quiver upgrade that I have ever done. And I don't know if I can succeed. And so the point and or goal is going to be to do the rest of everything. And then maybe come back here again. Maybe not, but maybe come back here again. So I'm missing some masks. Um, there's three empty spaces, and then there's the one space with the dot over there. The one space with the dot is a separate deal. <laughs> That's when I recruit the spouse. <gasps> Millie's joined you in the hammock. Yes, Millie. But I think we can find three other masks uh, another way. We're doing pretty well with the items, but I am missing a bottle. And so there are still some things that we need to get done. So before I reset time, um, I'm just so done with the Swamp Shooting Gallery. I'm gonna go, I think, try to sell the Poe. Do I do that in the Curiosity Shop? I've never tried selling a Poe before, but I, I have one. And apparently you can make money off of selling ghosts. So poor Mr. Edgar Allen. I'm hopefully going to find someone to buy him. It's the final night. And it's like getting on sunset, which is real stressful. Maybe the curiosity shop is the first place I'll try, and then we'll see. Is he the curiosity shop? Okay, can I sell the Poe anywhere except the curiosity shop? Will this guy buy a Poe?
I've never had a Poda cell before. I see. So I'm definitely not gonna successfully sell him anything, is what it seems like. Might as well deposit the 278 rupees that I have right now, even though I'm just gonna have to come back here. Because probably what I'm gonna do is wait till 10 and see if it's at the curiosity shop that I'm supposed to do that selling. So I have made no secret of the fact that I don't find getting frustrated particularly fun. Um, and so as a result, especially when I'm playing a game like this, I have walkthroughs open. And I've glanced at my walkthrough a few times. Mostly I check it in between streams just to make sure I'm still topically on point. Who out here in Termina is buying Pose? Like they have one use, but I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> well, if you can only sell them at the curiosity shop, then I will tell you right now, Rudo, no one is buying Pose. <laughs> They're all not surviving till the next day. Um, this lifesaver is a pineapple lifesaver and I really like this flavor, so it's very distracting to me. I don't like actual pineapples. That's not entirely true. I do like actual pineapples. They're delicious, but they do make my tongue swell to twice its normal size because of their acidity. And so I can't eat pineapples, which is, I think, why I like the pineapple flavored lifesaver, because it's my like substitution for being able to eat actual pineapple. Just pineapple keeps trying to eat me back. That's the problem. And although I do not think anyone else should have to adjust their preferences, I have had pineapple on pizza, and I didn't hate it. Might have been because there was also ham and bacon on the pizza, and those are really good options. Anyway, um, controversial opinions aside, I have a walkthrough open. This is the other controversial opinion, so not controversial opinions aside. Controversial opinion right back in this front and center. Fist bump Willis. Um... I do have a walkthrough open, and that's important for this because I decided I didn't want to irritate myself on the Anju and Cafe quest. I don't know if that's how you say their names. I don't know how to speak. That's fine. Um, specifically because I know it's long, I know it's complicated. I've started the quest before, so like I found the quest myself by going around and talking to people very, very early on in my playing of this game. So I did locate the quest, but it's a complicated quest that requires that you be very close to the end game. You need some things that you get in Icana Canyon in order to finish the quest. So I have my walkthrough open and I'm going to be following my walkthrough for the quest because there are a whole bunch of optional events that we can watch together if I do that. And also it will make sure that I don't miss anything or muck anything up which is important to me because I have to do the quest twice from what I can tell. I have to do it once to completion, like to get all the way to the end to reunite Andrew and Cafe on the third night, but I also have to do it again to get some additional optional items and it's super complicated and awful. Please do send me that TikTok. I hope it's funny. Plum, hello, welcome in. You got here just as I started playing the game. You missed 45 minutes of chatting. Thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. And thank you also for redeeming Seasonal Candy. What, you thought it was different? It's not different. Oh, I'm glad it's hilarious and not, like, devastating. Anchovies on pizza are greater than pineapples on pizza? Okay. You know, garlic, you have a right to your opinion. I'm not saying I got in the bath after buttons ended and have been ever and ever since. I'm also not saying that, Plum. Why would you say that? Oh, it's AM right now, isn't it? It's still daytime. Because that's a sun. So I'm waiting here pointlessly right now.
Everyone must agree with me or the moon shall crash in. What a weird thing to say. Good thing no one's saying it. The Griffins have spread the lie. It's your story. You're sticking to it. Why, G Plum? I didn't know things had progressed so much with Megatron. But she knows when you're having a bath. I'm blinking innocently at you now. Okay. Well... Nope. I'm glad you had a good date with Megatron, Plum. That's all I'm saying. This is very out of context for anyone who doesn't watch Plum's streams. Two eyes, clown, no smile. You mean the paint on the wall behind me? Oh, you're right. Is it is it not supposed to be a face? I mean, that almost looks like it's supposed to be a face. The thatching does a really good job of emulating hair when you're like right about here. It looks like Joey. Sorry, the eyes and like the way the hair is right now, it looks like Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh to me in this moment. It does look a little bit like Cuphead. That's that's more accurate in terms of the way. It looks like a fairy. Oh, like tattle and tail and stuff. Okay. Or like the three braid crazy head. I just, I just want to figure out how to sell this Poe chat and then I want to reset the time and then figure out how to get this couple to get married or something. I don't actually remember the end of the quest. Mm -hmm. You're right, Plum. We're, we're trying to find Edgar Allen a new home with someone who loves him enough to pay money for him. If you think that sounds like slavery, um, it did kind of, and I'm sorry about that because I don't support that institution. But I am still going to sell Edgar Allen. Hopefully to the curiosity shop if they'll take him. innocent smile. So the plan is to follow the walkthrough. It says it's going to take me an hour to do this quest, which means I might not even finish it tonight because it took me so long to start it. <laughs> oh, this is going great. Well, it's nine o'clock. We're fine. Everything's fine. I mean, it's 7.53 according to my real clock, but it's 9.15 according to my Majora's Mask clock. And, and those are both important clocks to me. 177 hour quest incoming. That's not wrong. Like, it's such, it involves so much to do this side quest. And there's a lot of really interesting story that you can access if you're thorough if you, if you just like live around town for a while settle down beavis just resubscribed for 33 months 33 months i've been streaming for that long that's crazy to me welcome in settle down beavis it is lovely to see you and thank you so much for your support and for your resub how are you doing today i've been enjoying your grocery list and i truly feel proud of myself for getting rotini And 20, 30. Well, that's 30, apparently. And that's three. I'm glad you're doing well, Beavis. I, I don't think that's 30. It looks like it's less than 30. It's fine. Twitch, well, my keyboard just lied to me about how many times I pressed the button. Okay, so, hey, do you... Hi. 
buy things? Cool. I don't want to buy it. I would like to see if you would be willing to buy this from me. Looked at the fridge and went, Rotate! <laughs> That's exactly, like, I was looking at it going, why is this just, like, a glowing-eyed, a glowing red-eyed death on your grocery list? And you were like, it's a Jawa. And I was like, oh, Rotate! <laughs> just immediately. It's 30! It's fine. You're only gonna give me 50 rupees? Hold on. I thought that there was someone who gave me more rupees for this. I just need to figure this out. You were proud of Pathblend, but then I forgot to buy it. Maybe it's because it's the last night. Okay, so the internet tells me I'm supposed to get 200 rupees for this, and I don't care. Just, I don't care. Ah, the fairies in this game are groupies indeed. Okay, well, we've got like an hour and a half to go to the bank. So thankfully it's right here. <laughs> I just don't have the energy to deal with things being weird in the game. I'm not that concerned. I do think I have to get to 5,000. Nope. Thank you. I do think I have to get to 5,000 rupees and max out the bank in order to get a piece of heart. Uh, but I'm already at 38.75 and that's not bad. And we haven't even started doing the things that like are impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna play the Song of Time, and then I'm gonna get the Scarecrow, and then I'm gonna get some rupees around town, and maybe collect some items, because I think I will have time to do all of that before 10 o'clock. So our first stop, Millie is such a good dog. Our first stop we've done already in this game, um, but I don't know if you need to do it to jumpstart the quest. Or if you only need to do it one time. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to walk you guys through the entire quest, even if I run into something that I've done before. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's true, actually. I I wasn't unimpressed by that. The room with all the lava and the rolling. I've done some impressive things. The swamp shooting gallery is just not one of them. Okay. So we lose everything that we gained, and that's fine. <laughs> We're going to slow down time for now. There's probably going to be a fair amount of slowing down and speeding up time, depending. I tend to get really stressed um, when I don't know where I'm going, and so that's why I'm going to keep it like this, essentially. So I do need to Scarecrow Song, but I think I'm going to collect some money first. Ooh. I'm excited to see that game. <gasps> Enjoy your supper, Willis. Because the description, even though like unclear whether or not the game itself would be huge amounts of fun, the description sounded really unique and I love seeing games that are unique. 
Like I've played a lot of really bad games just off of the perspective that they were interesting or singular. Oh, okay. Okay, we added an extra step. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Nope. Link, please jump down. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Please let me leave. Thank you. So I'm gonna do my regular... Uh, collection habit. Just to get myself some, like, bombs and stuff. How are we doing at that? 20 bombs, 30 arrows. That is not bad. Please. I don't think I'm gonna need like bugs or fish for anything that I'm doing. Ow. Hitboxes are weird and confusing. Thank you for the money. Come on. Thank you. Wow! I just keep walking directly into these guys. It's fine. I'm sure it will be fine. That one was so stressful. Buttons, that game stressed me out so much and I wasn't even playing it. It's worth getting cow's milk. Somehow I doubt it. Okay. Oh, wait. There's also a chest over here. Bunny hood, please. Thank you. Club, I feel like you'd choose chaos. Oh, right. I lost health. There's a little health machine right here. Probably rude to call him a machine. But he do give me health. You would never. Yes, you would, Plum. Okay. Delightful. So, I'm gonna Scarecrow Song and then Bank. Just because I can. Hello? Please use door. Thanks, Link. That's a nice thing you got there. Yep, thanks. Thanks, Pierre. Okay, so these are just like a basic thing that I do every time. This is this is me trying to have a habit pattern whenever I reset the time is I want to like get certain monies and get certain items and skills and that sort of thing. Okay. Good 
Very nice. Cool. I just need a thousand more rupees. That is so many more rupees. Whoops. Okay. So on this round through the quest, I have a feeling that I'm not going to... I'm not going to be great at multitasking, is my feeling. I feel like I'm probably going to focus just on the quest, even though that might mean a lot of waiting. Does anyone remember where the mayor's office is? Hmm, it's not here. I'll tell you that. I haven't had to go there on purpose in a long time. So that's the post office. Is he in the stockpot inn or something? It, yes. Yes. Lottery shop, not very helpful. And so then there's bomb shop, regular shop, curiosity shop, clown picture. the clock tower. There aren't any other buildings here, right? That's the laundry pool. Yep, town shooting gallery. Honey and Darling mini games or whatever. This is the milk bar. Stock caught in. Door. Oh no, that's the milk bar. That's the treasure chest thingy. Right, right, right. There's residence. There we go. Okay, open from 10 to 8. Gotcha. Cool. Well, it's 8 right now, so I need it to be 2 hours from now is where we're at. So this whole quest kicks off in the mayor's residence. <gasps> SMK also on a 25 stream streak. It's almost like 25 streams ago is when Twitch introduced this streak mechanic. So we're just gonna wait for it to be 10 o'clock, then we're gonna slow down time again a little bit. trying to think what I could do with light arrows that would have an interaction. Because there is that Easter egg that Sudorudo was telling me about. And I guess to me, I think, am I supposed to like shoot a light arrow at an NPC? That adds up because you do stream that much more than me on average. You are correct. If you have someone who's about to hit 100 and I have someone who's about to hit 25 or who just hit 25, that means that specifically means that the oncoming storm has seen every single one of your streams since they launched the uh, hello. <laughs> Please enjoy this view, everybody. So this guy is going in here too. How very interesting. Let's make his walk awkwardly slow. Um, if you have a vague hint, I would love to hear it. Currently my thinking is basically, <gasps> how dare the dog abandon you. Um, my, my current thinking is basically either there's a sun somewhere, like something that would normally interact with the light arrow that I haven't been able to do anything with, or like if I shoot a person or like one of those cow statues. Nope, this isn't it. This is not it. This is not the room I want to be in. I am going to go uh, he is gonna take his time. This is, this is fine. Okay. Oh, hey, the manager's here. So is Calcifer. Hey, Calcifer. Anyway, 
So this lady we already know is the originator of this quest. I might have found it organically after earning light arrows, but I didn't. In the Stone Tower Temple? So I found light arrows in the Stone Tower Temple. Like halfway through. And then I had to physically leave in order to flip the temple because I didn't have that ability before I started. I mean, I imagine they're very effective at killing certain types of enemies. Okay, I'm going to keep thinking on that because that's a very interesting vague hint. Um, so the quest for Andrew and Cafe, again, I don't actually know how to say her name or his name. It's fine. We're fine. Um, so they're a couple and they're supposed to get married, but Cafe has gone missing is the plot. And we actually learned that from this lady who I think is Cafe's mom. And I think the first time I talked to her, she gave me this. And so I don't think she's going to do anything different this time because I already have the item. So this isn't a part of the quest that I need to do again, but it's just useful to know where things start. Most say Anju. That's fair. I just never know what to do with J's. Cafe? I just don't want to say like coffee. That seems like it would be weird. I th thought. Yes. And we also, when we were here last time, we found this. Uh, which is the missing boy's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. And that's interesting because that would be a hint to indicate to me that possibly the evening of day one I want to go to the milk bar. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Ooh, sorry. Suddenly overwhelmed with the yawns. I think my light is too bright or something. So that sort of indicates that he didn't mean to go missing. Huh. This... This dude who's like half moonwalking, who like nearly walked me into this house, uh, apparently also wants to be in this room. I want to know what's happening. His eyebrows are so mobile. Madame Aroma, I am Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do. Uh, yes. They've cancelled just now. W what's this? 
Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work at this year's show, or that was the plan. I am Toto. Manager of the Zora Band, the Indigos. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bay, and due to this unusual accident, Lulu the Diva in the Indigo Goes has lost her voice. Um, several, I have several notes about this summary, given that we've already played this portion of the plot. Um, she's the singer, not the diva in the Indigo Goes, and, uh, an unusual accident is the theft of her children in egg form. That is an unusual accident. Now, chat. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Th this means the Gorman troops to chop. It's, it's off. Wow, she's heartless. But, but that's... That's all, Gorman. There's always next year. I'm busy with other matters. See, folks, there's always next year, even when the moon is about to crash into the earth. Okay, that was really funny. I didn't see that last time. So I believe the next required event is going to be at the Stockpot Inn. And there's a couple of other things that we can do there as well. Oh, that's fair. You know what? That is true. I'm just not familiar with that term being in use. But you're right, it didn't used to have the connotations. So I don't remember where Anju's grandmother lives, but I found her before. Hmm. Feel like that's not it. Okay, is she upstairs? The end's open. That's fair. Hmm. Where does this door go? Nope, that's the outside. Employees only, no admittance. Sneaking into other people's rooms, you're the worst. Huh. Okay, I need no further explanation for this. I am fine. Except I'm also lost. This is missing a room. Chat, where does her grandma live? I've met her grandma. She told me those stories. Oh. Definitely here. I was looking the wrong way. Okay. So we're just going to jump on the bed for a little bit. Um, this continues to be a little bit optional. Uh, this is a conversation, apparently, that we are going to overhear. Oh, good. Hey, look, she's here already. Isn't that great? So wiggly. Their walk animations are hilarious at this speed. Oh, tortoise, I've already had lunch. Grandmother, I am Anju. Tortoise was my dad, and you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had 
egg lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say that I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible, child. Then don't eat my food. I give up. Who? You? Uh, you, would you like me to read you a story? Okay, this is officially sus. If I ain't breaking your pots, I'm jumping on your bed, messing up your sheets. Um. Let's read this book. Granny's got a diary! <gasps> We're gonna read Granny's diary chat. It was my granddaughter who cooked again today. Putting that to the lips shortens the life. I thought of a way to get by without eating. I'll try it tomorrow. I just hope I'm not caught. <laughs> this woman! Listen, Queen, please stop gaslighting your niece. Just tell her she can't cook. I know this isn't it, but... Oh, I can't shoot anything in this room! Well, that's no fun at all! Poor Anju. She just can't cook. Okay. So... If I'm correct... Can I, like, read this book if I go around to the other side? There's another cow. There's so many cows in this room. Oh, she's... Oh, nope. 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 Not where I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go. Can I... Can I check the book? Why are these masks so terrifying? Okay. I can't check the book, chat. But it's fine. We're fine. I'm just gonna wait. Just gonna be patient. The bobblehead cows are adorable. I quite enjoy them. Um, so there's two more optional things here. Just just to give us story progress. Just to help us understand what's going on. There is going to be eventually when she's done tidying up. Which is pardon me. I have hiccups. Which is apparently going to take a while, because she's going all the way upstairs. Um, but at some point, she's going to get a letter. We just got a letter. Um, and also at some point, uh, she's just going to come back to the reception desk, and I'm going to be able to talk to her. So we're probably going to let things speed up until then. It feels like even with the walkthrough, this quest is super confusing, chat. There's so many things to pay attention to. I could just follow her around, but that would be more creepy, I think. This, this is fine. This is fine. Actually, I'm gonna need this one as well. Let's, let's just twiddle our thumbs a little bit. How y'all doing, chat? Are you doing well? Uh, you look like you're doing well. This is fine. Oh, good. She's coming back. Hi. So, it is important that I am wearing the Goron mask for this conversation. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? And I believe something is actually going to happen if I lie and say yes. You do have a reservation. That's good. Mr. Lady QEW, is it? <laughs> Mr. Lady. Chad, I'm Mr. Lady. 
Amazing. Mr. Lady QEW, is it? One moment, please. Oh, Mr. Lady QEW, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber. Sorry, our knife chamber? Well, that's concerning. Why do they have a knife chamber, chat? <laughs> why Why do they have a knife chamber in this inn? Um, but here is my key. And this room key, uh, apparently I had a reservation. This is fortunate. It was added to your notebook. Please relax. Okay, well, just watch me transform into a small child directly in front of you. Um, and then... Here we go. We go right into the next scene. Ah! Uh, 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 um, um, what is this? I delivered this to you. Oh, wait. This letter, where, where did you? From the post box. Yeah. That, that's not what I mean. From the post box where? From the post box somewhere. Oh, that's not what I mean. Wow, he is extremely unhelpful. I'm just gonna... He can... He can go. You're also looking for Cafe? I have a request. I, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight, random girl walking in the background, okay. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. So this this is what I discovered um, ages and ages and ages ago, well before I could participate in most of this quest. Um, when I first went into the mayor's office and spoke to Madame Aroma and she gave me this mask, I then started wearing it to talk to everybody. And I discovered this completely by accident. And then I met her in the kitchen and found out that I couldn't finish the quest, which is terrible. So I have to come back at 1130. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see if it's the room that I think it is, because I think it's it would be this one, right? The locked one. Don't go into someone else's room. Oh, hello. Noise. Wait. Oh, fascinating. We can eavesdrop on the employees only room. Chat. I mean, we're staying for free, but somebody paid for this. Okay. So, there is an optional event. Before our next required event. So, the optional event happens just after four o'clock. I love this. I've got one over here right now. I bet that it disappears if I reset the time and that I would have to do that every time if I wanted it. Um, you know what? It's already after three. Maybe we'll just go downstairs and wait. I was thinking if I slowed down the time, I could go try to find money somewhere or do a bank deposit or something, but truthfully, it's already 3.30 and I only have to wait till 4.10, which doesn't seem that bad to me. So, so far... Aha! Here he comes, chat! So far, we've just bothered this poor lady at her job and terrified her a few times. I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. Well, when you only have three rooms, that's not surprising. I made I, I made a reservation. The name is Lady QEW Goro. <laughs> Lady QEW Goro. 
Yep, that sounds exactly like a normal Goron name, definitely. For sure, absolutely. Mr. Lady QEW Goro? I don't have a reservation under that name because apparently she just burned it out of the book after I got the key. There is one name close to that, but... What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather outside, so I'll just sleep there. I'm terribly sorry. Oh my gosh, we took his room. Chat, we're awful. Whoopsies. Okay. So the next event is being in the kitchen. At least according to my walkthrough, the next event is the kitchen. She says 1130. And so that's what we're going to aim for. But therefore, in the meantime, we have some maybe things that we can do. So first of all, I had not saved um, for any of that. Okay. Uh, I talked to her as the Goron before the mail delivery, and then I talked to her in the cafe mask immediately after the delivery. I, I did all three conversations very close together. So this is gonna stress me out. But I wanna know... I wanna know... If I can target this guy or not. Seems like no. Oh my gosh, leave me alone, please. I wanna I wanna try. Mm. Moving targets are tricky. But he does a very stable flight path, I think. Chat, he doesn't die in a single hit from that. Oh. Oh my. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. That that thing's gonna have at me. Oh yo! That's a lot of money. I thought that maybe the Easter egg was that I would do more damage to this utterly terrifying bird. I did it? He is a special enemy. I knew that. He's not even dead. What did I do? I'm so confused. I... I just wanted to kill the bird. Wait, hold on. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Leave me alone. I am trying to repeat something. Is it that I just make bank by killing things? I just make bank by killing things with the magic light arrows. Oh goodness. Well, that is extremely worth knowing actually. I need more magic, like immediately, please game anytime. Thanks, uh, a little more than that. Okay, there's a blue guy over there. What time is it? It's only seven. Okay, I have time. That, that was not what I intended. What if befriending things here yields more rupees? That is a great question. Let's practice on this guy. Oopsies, I accidentally killed him instead. Whoops! My bad. Super my bad, folks. Uh, wrong button, I will say out loud, and you will all know that I'm lying to you. 
I want to see if I can collect a little more magic before I have to go back in. This this would absolutely make me obsessed with magic collection. That is going to be the... I am no longer concerned about getting to 5,000 rupees. I wasn't even concerned in the first place, but I'm like extra not con concerned. Yeah, that would be super useful in, in a randomizer if you can just get 50 rupees every time you shoot one of those things and it just costs you magic. Oh my goodness. Cool. Magic meter full. Well, I see another target. How convenient for me. It makes some sense, because it, it's a lot of magic to do that. Oh, hey, look, is that another other target? Chat, I'm gonna wind up missing my planned encounter due to greed. Just you watch me. Okay. I, I have to stop now. If I don't stop now... Wait, he's sleeping outside? Oh, This poor Goron! After forgetting to equip normal arrows. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, there is the corridor of the the bubbles. Oh gosh, I don't have time for this. I am stressed about my timing. I need to make sure I talk to her. I need to make sure I talk to her, but I also have just so much money in my pocket. I can just run back. I can just run back. 4481. We need 519 rupees total, chat. Okay, let's go back to the inn and try and locate the kitchen. I think I can get in due to having a key, regardless of whether or not it's open. So then I just need to remember where we're going and where we're going is to here okay I located it and also found some bugs this is good this is good because it's 11 o'clock and she told me to be here at 11 30 my goodness okay okay we're just gonna suspend point it works on lots of normal enemies you've tested it with birds with bubbles with the snow monster things not sure what they're called oh yeah I, I don't know the names of any enemies, so I'm not going to judge you, but I do know what you mean. That's really cool. I like that um, at this point, they just go, hey, if you still haven't maxed out the bank, here here is just an absolutely free way to convert your magic into money. Go. Okay. Anytime. Anytime, my girl. Where, where are you at? Okay, there are you at. That's good. It's good. It's good chat. So. Now that you're here. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him. Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please, here is my letter. Please put this in a post box because she can't just go and do it herself. Like, chat, I really want to stress what I'm doing right now is I am taking a letter that she has written and I am putting it in a post box. I am not directing this letter. I am not locating cafe for her. I am not fixing an unfixable issue. And so I'm not entirely sure why she didn't just give it back to the postman essentially sure someone has to mind the in buttons have you been paying attention to how little this woman is standing behind the reception desk 
It's fine. She stands behind the reception desk from approximately 2 o'clock until approximately 8 o'clock. And that's vital. I accept. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Okay, this is a real request then. Please tell him that Anju is waiting for him. Why can't you put that in your letter? And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Sure. Okay, so what she's asked me to do is stalk an employee of the city because I'm going to have to put that in a post box and then I'm going to have to follow the postman after he picks it up to figure out where he goes if what I want to do is find cafe. Now, I am using a walkthrough, which means I don't actually have to follow this postman. She didn't even seal the letter. I could literally just read it. And so what I don't have to do is follow the postman around. However, I can tell that if you did follow the postman around, you would get your answer. Please mail it immediately in the morning. Okay. I will do that. Let's go find a mailbox chat. I love the little added detail of the Goron sleeping outside because I have the key. Because he's never been there before, right? Like, he's not there if I don't have this, you know? Oh, this is fascinating. So this whole tier is probably quest items. Item doesn't seem to work here. Deposit mail here. Ka-ching. Cool. I will follow your ridiculous rules. Thank you. It shall be delivered tomorrow. That is great. That is great news. I hope it doesn't fall out. So if you were to follow... He's here now. Do I teach it to you again? Okay, it's now just raining for no reason because I can. So if you were to follow the postman all the way around forever and ever, um, you would find him handing that letter over over here. Um, but what you're supposed to do, apparently, according to my walkthrough, um, is while the postman is handing the letter over, uh, this door will be unlocked. And so in that time, we're supposed to pop in. Oh, right, because there's the bell there. Those with business, please ring bell. No solicitors. Curiosity shop. Oh, yo. This is the back door of the curiosity shop. That's fascinating. Well, it's fine. I'm just supposed to go in. Well, cafe, the child is getting the mail. But that's literally not till like 3 p.m. tomorrow. So... I don't have to watch the postman pick up the mail, right? Postman will come pick it up when he does his rounds. Go to the laundry pool and wait until three. The postman will come ring the bell to deliver the letter. Okay. So we're probably not gonna just wait because why would we just wait until three? When what we could do is given that it is nighttime go shoot some more uh, boobles. Ooh. I thought I saw one over there. Hello? Ew. 
delightful. There were there was one here last time. Very nice. Just you know. Oh, I can enter anytime after the postman rings the bell. Oh, that's interesting. I think I'm probably okay with just money and magic until I have 5,000 rupees for now. Because, <laughs> like, these dudes respawn pretty quickly. More quickly than the bushes. Oh, it's gonna be daylight soon. I'm gonna have to find something that's not the bubbles to shoot. Gosh, they're quick. Okay, so this is the best and easiest way to collect money. That is, that is how I feel. So out of the 519 money that we need, we have 314 already. Whee! The bell has rung for almost daytime. Almost morning. It's, it's interrupting me for a cutscene because it's now morning. Okay, so now we are on day two of this very long quest. And again, 3.10 p.m. is when the thing happens. That it would be fun to see. What about shooting these guys? If I were to shoot them with a light arrow, would they drop money? I bet they wouldn't, but... I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah, nope, they just dropped their usual. <gasps> Bird? Bat? There are bats. I don't think I can get close enough to... Hmm... I don't think there I can get close enough to target them, so I'd have to be able to snipe those ones. Kind of feels glitchy that they're still bats. Hmm. Is it morning or is it morning? <laughs> Excuse you. This this bird is straight up ignoring me. Excuse me. I would I would like you to attack me so that I can target you. Just do it that way. I don't know if he dropped money. He does not seem to have dropped me any money. And that is rude. Anyway, but it's also fine. What were the other things? 
Okay, that's a night time. Yeah, they're there even though they don't attack me. I can't aggro them. I can't target them. Like, that is really interesting. Maybe. I could believe that it's just a an error of the aggro. I just can't fix that, so... It seems easier to rupee grind at night, is what I will say. Because those blue bubbles are just very convenient. Is that... Looked like there was money behind that for a second. But no. Please stop. I would like to adjust my camera, not not attack this frog. Okay, well there is money behind there. How do I get that money? Is that even gettable? I wonder... Wow, what is like backing onto that? That's coming out of the curiosity shop. Or like next to or underneath. That's really odd. Okay. Oh, it feels like this is going to be a long wait. Chat, this quest is long. I would like to finish this, like, portion, quote unquote, if that makes sense. So the events are watch the postman deliver the letter, sneak into the house. <laughs> um, then inside the house, when Kafe comes back in, talk to him and he's going to give me something. And then I'm supposed to deliver what he gives me uh, to Anju. So I think I can do all of that fairly quickly. It's true. I could skip ahead two hours by sleeping through Granny's short story. But instead, Bada Buttons, thank you very much for redeeming a rant about weights. Weights. W-A-I-T-S. Now, here's the thing. I'm a fan of patience. Um, I am not one who doesn't understand the value of waiting my turn when that is applicable. I am fine with queuing. I am fine with, uh, I, I guess in general, I'm fine with being patient with people. Um, I can wait my turn to get on a train or off a train, even if there's a hundred people in front of me, like this is fine. But waiting to me feels very purposed. And this is a game. So really what this reminds me of is the chapter in Super Paper Mario where even after the, so the chapter where you're a million whatever's in debt to Mimi. And so you have to jump a hundred times to get a hundred dollars and then trade the hundred dollars to someone who will give you a code to get into a secret room where you can run on a hamster wheel to earn the money faster, except you still have to run on the hamster wheel to earn it. And it takes about 12 minutes of running. And I'm just like, but why? Why wasn't that? That's not true. He gives he gives me the key to the VIP lounge where I have to earn 10,000 of the money to get the code to just earn a million of the money. 
but 10,000 of the money is still like 10 minutes. And it's much faster than jumping. You'd never get there by jumping. But why? What is the value that you considered that made this? Oh, hey there. Like, that made this something that you thought would be a good game mechanic. That's it. That's the rant. Huh. This is... Oh my gosh, I'm just standing on the table now. I'm just standing on the chair. I'm a terrible guest. He didn't even hop. Well, at some point he'll come back up here, right? Here's the mail, it never fails. The postman is really, really dedicated to his job. Hi. Green hat, green clothes. Anju wrote about you in her letter. <gasps> He's jealous. Sorry. It seems you're looking for coffee. Yes, I am. Can you keep a secret? Listen, boy, small child, I can't talk. I have never pronounced a word as Link. Yes, I can keep a secret for you. Anju trusted you. I shall also trust you. Oh, that face is weird. Sorry, this is just on my mind because we were discussing the vampire literature earlier. That is a Renesme face if I have ever seen one from the movie. Well, well, I am Cafe. <gasps> Chat, hold on to your armrests. Did you know? This is Cafe, apparently. Um, sorry, the coffee we're looking for is an adult. Um, when I look at you, I just see a child. <gasps> Tattle! My little lady! Why oh, you gotta be so rude? You can't just ask people why their children tattle. <laughs> and on Wednesdays, we wear pink. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. Okay, I've met her. She's a little cray cray. Uh, but also she exploded. So. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, chat, a wedding ceremony mask. It's a mask and I don't have it yet. I mean, I should probably give it back to him. It was stolen by some prancing man with a grinning face. Cursed in that movie? Yep. Just... Just put an infant in the role. It's not that hard. There are children that act all the time. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Before my re wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh my, I pity you. Chat, I'm super glad that we're not here for like the emotional care of these NPCs because Tattle is having none of that. Tattle is only having crushed their souls further. Oh no, Pseudo Rudo, I don't want to learn. I know Anju is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant. Give it to Anju. Okay. I mean, I'd really like your mask. Can I buy it off of you? Not yet, I guess. Sure. I'll... 
So you may not understand these grown-up matters. You should probably take the pendant to Anju anyway. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. <gasps> Sweet! He was an entry in the notebook. That makes sense. Plum, why? Why would you do that? Listen, the actors should be uncomfortable around the movie. So I have not finished either of their quests, but I have their quests now, and I've got a lot of exclamation points. Oh, interesting. I'm not done with him. Nor am I done with the mayor or with Madame Aroma. That's fine. Or the postman. Oh! We have got a lot of check marks at the, the back half of that. That, that ain't bad. Okay, okay. This is going reasonably well. Things get, that get stolen always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate, peek in the hole. And he looks at the customers. Ah, creepy. That guy will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. Okay. You do that. Oh, hello? Door? Door? Door, please? Okay, I just want to double check. So now I have to go give this pendant to Anju. Anju. And then I can listen in on a couple of things that happen overnight. Okay, so Stockpot Inn really is the next thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go give the pendant to our wonderful Anju. Whoop. And then I'm gonna go up to my room and we're gonna save and pick it up two weeks from now. So I hope you have good memories, chat. Because, again, I will not be streaming next week. I have a very important and competitive hockey game to watch. Um, and so I, I, will not, I will not be here next week. Um, but the week after that, oh boy howdy, do we have things. Uh, nope, okay. So I talked to her first. Oh, did you meet him? You have a terrible memory. I'm going to cancel it. Um, I'm going to cancel next week's stream on my schedule, and so hopefully that will prompt some people. I'm also going to post it in my Discord, which is where I try to keep my schedule adjustments as I have them. Um, but, but please remember, please remember there is going to be no stream next week because I have a very important hockey game to attend, and I do not have a good way. I have so many responsibilities on my plate for the next couple of weeks that I don't have a good way to just easily bump. So it's going to be two weeks, chat. Please don't forget. Anyway, I'm about to give this girl some jewelry. Link is all grown up. Ah! It's from Kathy. Th th thank you. Thank you so much. Cool. Um, so, gift given. Let's go to our room. Okay. Because the next thing is optional, and it involves the ability to overhear in this space on YouTube if anyone else wants to watch it. That's a very good point. A fortnight! Gasp! Whatever shall we do with a whole fortnight and no Lady Q? That rhymed. It was just funny for me to be able to make that rhyme. Okay, so I need to make mug and tea commands. I need to read no fewer than five books. Now that we've had this stream, we don't we don't use Fortnite enough anymore as a word. Um, I'm gonna throw a raid message all up in here because I can. Ooh, oh man, there's friends and fun things to do. Um, so raid message is thrown up. That's fine. A uh, reminder has happened. And so, folks, 
again, just the gentle and soft reminder um, that I will not be streaming next week. So it's going to be another two weeks before we can continue this extremely long quest that we have to do twice. Um, I think we're about halfway through it right now which ain't bad and so we should be able to finish it in two weeks and then hopefully restart hopefully i'll be familiar with the things that i need to do by then but as you can see like this is obviously why i'm following a walkthrough it's really easy to miss some of these bits and pieces if you're not paying attention um and hopefully we'll also make some make bank because we only need a couple hundred more rupees before we get our piece of heart for doing that so i'm pretty excited about that because that's like the culmination of a lot of work of depositing money and just being a responsible citizen with my with my funds um i hope you guys had a fun time i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed the 45 minutes of chatting because y'all kept redeeming things i had a great time tonight and i am super happy that you guys chose to come hang out and i hope y'all have a lovely evening as well i'm gonna choose to keep to the zelda theme um, and we're going to raid Emmy, who is playing Tears of the Kingdom. So it's a slightly more current thank you for stim. <laughs> Buttons, you held that in your back pocket for like two hours. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> So yeah, I hope y'all had a good time. I definitely did. I laughed so hard I cried. That happens sometimes. Um, not next week, but the week after. If you want to come hang out to see the end of this quest, I'd love to see you. Uh, but until then, hopefully you have some fun with Emmy or wherever else you spend time on Twitch. Um, maybe I'll bump into you. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, a wonderful week, a wonderful two whole weeks, and maybe I'll see you next time. But until then, as always, keep it cute. Bye!